as a believer in Christ, I've been asked this question multiple times. Can you be close to God and still struggle with your mental health? The simple answer is yes. Hi, my name is Amanda Barb. I talk about things on faith and mental health through a biblical perspective. It's very hard to say biblical really fast, but I did. Welcome to my channel. We're gonna, we're gonna have so much fun today. You can be close to God, closer to Him than you've ever experienced before and still be struggling. And I'm gonna share with you in this video how that can be. How can you be close to God and still struggle with your mental health? You might be seeing a cat behind me. Let us first debunk a few assumptions of why someone is struggling with their mental health that brings up this question, can they be close to God? Assumption number one, someone is struggling with their mental health because they are not trusting God fully with a certain situation. Assumption number two, depression is a result of bearing heavy guilt from sin alone. And assumption number three, a person is struggling with their mental health because it is their choice. They are choosing to be anxious and they are choosing to be depressed. It's in their control. Now, these assumptions could be true for certain individuals who are walking in sin, who are not trusting in God and making poor choices that actually do harm their mental health. But it's not fair to make these assumptions for everybody who struggles with mental health as a whole. And many people can relate to these specific assumptions because we're human. We make mistakes. We don't always follow after God the way that we should or trust him fully and as a result make poor decisions that do impact our mental health. But let me give you a little secret. However, not all people who struggle with mental health have made poor choices for themselves or have been far from God. There are way more factors involved that cause a person to struggle with their mental health. This individual could have a chemical imbalance. They could have experienced trauma in their life. They could have had a dysfunctional upbringing or there's just a lot of deep wounded pain that they have within themselves. Stressors in our lives can play a part in our mental health as well as even personality types. So to decide that a person is struggling with their mental health because they don't have a deep relationship with God or they're walking in disobedience is not a good thing to assume. It's more likely that that's a judgmental heart towards that individual. There, I said it. It's being judgmental. Individuals can only empathize as far as their own experience and they pinpoint it to their choices and walking away from God or stressors in their lives, then they will not be able to empathize with an individual who struggles with mental health with more complex factors. When an individual is diagnosed with a mental illness, that means that they are going to need treatment outside of themselves. They can't fix themselves. That's why they have a mental illness. When a person goes to a doctor for a physical illness, the question of their spiritual health is not brought up. But when a person is diagnosed with a mental illness, then we want to assume that their spiritual health is not strong and they are not close to God. I really don't understand this at all. Now let's look at David in the Bible. There are plenty of Psalms where you can see that David is in despair because he has those moments and he's outright depressed. But who could blame him, right? David runs for his life from Saul. He's lost his best friend and he eventually loses three sons and even one after his death, but that doesn't apply here. There's plenty of stressors in David's life and trauma that can cause him to struggle with his own personal mental health. However, in his times of despair and sorrow, he still remains close to God. And his emotional struggles did not always equate David with distance from God. In fact, it's quite the opposite. David would cry out to God and actually lean into him more when he struggled. Quick plug here, guys. If you like what you're watching today and my video, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you really feel allowed to share this with a friend, then by all means, let me give you permission to share this video out with your friends. It is of my personal opinion that some church cultures tend to align individuals who struggle with their mental health as being far from God. And the reason for this is because number one, they don't fully understand 
mental health and they are in fact afraid of it. And number two, it's easier and more comfortable to work out of a place of self-righteousness within them rather than being empathetic compassionate and trying to understand what that individual is navigating in their lives that is causing them to struggle with their mental health. Mental illness is not something to be afraid of when we see it in other individuals in our lives. Oftentimes, this individual has a lot of deep, deep wounds and they need our support and love to help in their own healing process. And deeming them as far from God can just cause more wounding on top of the wounds they already have. I know this because this has been my own experience. And this brings me to God's role in the struggle with mental health. My favorite verse that you can find in the book of Psalms is that God is close to the brokenhearted. I probably should look that up, hold on. Psalm 34 verse 18. Maybe I'll put it here. In my struggle, in my deepest of nights, God has met me there. He has always met me and been faithful to pull me out of my depressive episodes. And when I had some seasons where panic attacks would not stop for months, God was still with me in those moments. And definitely he was there when I would be triggered multiple times and didn't understand what was going on because I hadn't found a way to be healed. He was there to comfort me and to remind me that I am not alone. God never and still has never left my side with my healing journey with my own mental health. And as the sun rises again after a dark night, we are made aware that God was with us all along. God does not delight in our suffering or our misery. However, he will allow us to walk through tough times so that those deeper wounds can surface and we can bring attention to them and get the healing that we need. This is a process and what I like to call a journey towards healing. And remember that God is good and he wants us whole and healed in him. 